Good morning. Today I want to show you some projects I've been working on, some carving. And I'll start with the first one. This gourd had <laughs> this gourd had a little bit of a blemish right here. And I wanted to do something a little bit different than I've ever done, something a little bit less organized. And the more I polished this gourd, the softer and softer it became. It's just absolutely amazing and at this point I had not yet received my saber fur and I was using these that look like a little turban just using that to, to get the skin off and the problem with this is they dig so deep they do a great job of getting the skin off but they dig so deep that then sometimes you can't do a whole lot more intricate work because you've already taken away so much cord but what I wanted here was I wanted a very definite step I didn't want it to look like a dinosaur popping out of its egg or anything like that, but I just wanted a very, very definite step there so that you could see that you were looking at the, the insides of the cord. And I even polished the inside. I mean, I absolutely polished it. And this one just feels so nice. And the way I envisioned this one being used is either just sitting as artwork on its own, or you could put a glass cup in there and you could use it for flowers. So, that one just came out really, really smooth. And of course, I'm always doing things in threes. So the second was this one. And I just wanted it to look sort of like motion and flowing. And I'm trying to work a little bit on not having things so symmetrical and a little bit more random because in the past, I would have ended up with four exact same things here or exact same protrusions. And once again, I've made the, the step, very, very drastic step right there. Once I use the tool for the grinding to get the skin off, then sometimes I will use one of the, in my Dremel, I'll use one of the sanding tools. Those don't always work because of the type of surface that you're working on because it's not a flat surface. So the next thing I go to is these little rasps and these are called um, rifler rasp. It was from a rifler rasp set and I have used these for years. They don't dull or anything like that and they're just great for working, working, working in small spaces. Some of them are flat on the bottom and some of them are not and they just work really good for making little little doing small work and I like doing a lot of hand work instead of using electric tools just because I like the peace and the quiet and working with the item. The one thing about these rifle rasps that gets old is where you're holding them. That is really small there and I thought about poking the whole thing into a cork so that I would have some type of a handle or maybe building a handle here out of quick wood. I could probably do something like that. Okay this is really funny. I'm um, packaging gourds up to store in boxes and price them and get them ready for sales and I accidentally broke off one of the points on this gourd so it doesn't look like it looked in the video earlier however I now like it much better the one part that I didn't like about it broke off and now it has a lot more symmetry and three points and we know that anything in odd numbers is good isn't that strange? I actually like it so much better now. Okay, strange addition to this gourd. I just wasn't really happy with it, wasn't sure what the purpose was, and so I decided to drill some holes in it and to put a rod through right there so it's sort of like a basket. And I think I'll paint the rod black. I'm trying to decide what what to do with the ends, if it should be blunt or not. I think I'll look up some inspiration online and I'll show you when I'm finished. Just a little bit of an alteration. It just, at this stage, looked a little bit unfinished. Okay, here's the add-on to that bowl. I just wanted it to look more, I don't know, more like a basket? Kind of Indian or Eskimo, something of that nature. And so I simply cut a rod and I scored the ends to put a little bit of a Oh, like a little design detail in them, a little indent, and kind of guessed at the angle <laughs> and drilled on through. 
the uh, holes had to be at an angle through the gourd, not just straight through. So they're deeper at the bottom and deeper at the top. And uh, that's the finished product. I think I like it better than I liked it before. So it's fun just to leave things sit around for a while and see what comes to mind. See what alterations you might want to make and jazz them up a little bit. I think it just kind of elevated the look of this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my content and I hope I gave you a couple ideas and some inspiration for what to do with some of the gourds you have around. And coming up are just some still shots so that you can pause and see different details or where I was in the process at each point.